Welcome back to NXT, and I'm struggling and wrestling at the moment with my quilt. Trying to throw it over my bow day, so I apologise for this intro, but Maria fucking Canellis, there we go. Maria Canellis coming out here tonight. She's the NXT <laughs> Women's Champion, sorry. Um, and she's so far, it's been set up that Dakota, oh blimey, that Dakota Kai is going to be the number one contender. And this time next week on the final episode of NXT, that will be the championship match. But tonight, her opponent, Lacey Evans, the first lady of Raw, having a bit of a bash over on NXT. Lacey Evans, unfortunately, I'm not actually sure whether she's won a match this season. It's not looking good for Lacey Evans. But Maria Kanellis has ran straight into the ring. She's approaching Evans, but Evans has dodged her. What is going- Oh my god! Holy shit, okay. So Evans was trying to get away from her, but she just got a handful of hair and slammed her into the mat. The referee has rang the bell. There's a super kick to Lacey Evans. Backslide, backside in the air, but a quick kick out there from Lacey Evans. I'm a fucking poet. And Maria Kanellis is a pro at giving some drop kicks out. Lacey Evans now managing to get control of the NXT Women's Champion, Maria Kanellis. Throwing her outside the ring to where her husband is currently stood. And hauling ass... Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. He, he, <laughs> he's not hauling ass so I can't speak. Oh my god, we've got two episodes after this of universe mode left before we hit the big sort of finale starting with the final NXT show and ending with WrestleMania and Maria Kanellis, Maria Maria Kanellis is having a little bit of a fucking giggle at the expense of Lacey Evans OH! and she fucking super kicked her in the back of the head one one just a one Lacey is hard as nails apparently so just two more episodes after this until we hit the final episode of NXT where Raiden's going to be returning for a little bit of a, for a one-off until Mania. <laughs> the only normal show they'll be doing, obviously, because it's the last one. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. This has been a state of affairs already, hasn't it? You can tell I've been bored all day, just sat on my own, weeping into my quilt. My quilt, which has been draped across my lap. Oh, God, she went for a vicious kick and she missed it. Lacey Evans with poor accuracy there. Went for a knee strike, but Maria Kanellis with a reversal, and now a very slow backbreaker. Kanellis now hauling Lacey Evans to her feet, and there's a roundhouse kick. Now scaling the corner turnbuckle, Maria Kanellis got a little bit of a point to prove because she's not wrestled since capturing the belt, I don't believe. She might have, she might not have. I think she appeared at Survivor Series, didn't she? Oh, God! She had the belt then, that's for sure. And, uh... She was also at the Rumble pay-per-view, I believe she was in the Royal Rumble match, the women's. And now, Maria Canella is trying to stay on top of things here, but Lacey Evans, she keeps on trying to fight back, but she can't seem to get an inch here. Oh, speaking of an inch, she might have just got it. Irish whip to her. Oh my god, she went for a roundhouse kick to Maria, but Maria now Irish whip into the corner and going for vintage Maria Canella with a bulldog there. Laying out Lacey Evans. Maria Kanellis looking for a dominating win to send a message to Dakota Kai. Lifting Lacey Evans up into the air. Making sure she goes to the centre of the ring. And now the modified miracle. Referee. One. Two. And that is it. She picks up a win over Lacey Evans to kick off the show. Moving swiftly on, and we've got some singles division action, and while Chris Jericho, the current number one contender, makes his entrance, I want to talk about the general manager of NXT. Now, I can't make the intro that Adam Pacitti would like me to make. Um, I, I asked him what music he would pick, and the song that he picked, I just cannot, I could not for the life of me make an intro. So... He may have to go. <laughs> so next season, don't be surprised if Adam Pacitti is no longer general manager. He did a fantastic job 
um, picking up this season, but we may have somebody new. Um, but yeah, I'm just pre-warning people. But Chris Jericho, who's going to be facing Kyle O'Reilly for the NXT Championship next week, is in action here tonight. They are here for a little bit of system shockage. Undisputed Era on NXT. And uh, it's going to be very, very bloody interesting to see what happens next season if they have the belts. If they've got the SmackDown tag belts and the NXT Championship, they're going to be briefly cross-brand until they lose them. We'll have to wait and see what happens in terms of the draft. I'm going to be doing a podcast draft, I think I've mentioned before. But just a little reminder, so keep your eyes out, eyes and ears out on the channel for that. Undisputed Era are here to uh, send a message to Chris Jericho. So Bobby Fish from Undisputed Era will be taking on Chris Jericho here tonight. We saw Bobby Fish a few weeks back take on Shinsuke Nakamura uh, in the build-up to Royal Quest when the match was... Uh, not Nakamura, uh, Kota Ibushi, Nakamura's tag partner. Oh god, easily mistakable since Brock Lesnar wants to beat the shit out of both of them. Um, but yeah, Brock Lesnar returned in that match, ruining Bobby Fish's chances of being the last ever TV champion, I guess. But uh, here tonight, we could be seeing a preview of next season, because all of these superstars could be on NXT next season, depending on what happens next week. Oh my god, and I don't know what Bobby Fish went for, but Chris Jericho, one step ahead with a DDT. And a flurry of strikes, a barrage of strikes. And there's a clothesline sending Bobby Fish to the outside of the ring. Chris Jericho not afraid of getting tangled up in Undisputed Era's... Uh, Undisputed Era's space there on the outside of the ring. Try not to initiate my fucking speech impediment every time I start recording. But Jericho now throwing Fish back into the ring. Trying to keep on top of things, making sure that Fish doesn't get any momentum, but an arm drag might prove that uh, a different result could end up happening. Bobby Fish taking a moment on the outside of the ring now, before climbing back in, straight into a slap by Y2J. Come on, baby! Sorry, uh, it just happens. It's like an urge. And Jericho now, with a skull-crushing finale in the corner... And we've not seen The Miz in quite some time. It, it could be interesting to see where The Miz goes next season. And a standing suplex now from Jericho to Bobby Fish. Jericho has been in control for most of this match. Adam Cole, though, now on the side of the ring, chatting some utter bollocks to Chris Jericho. Oh my god, and there's a dragon suplex from Bobby Fish to Jericho. Chris Jericho with the repeated chops, but with Bobby Fish firing back with a chop of his own, taking down the thigh, and there's a, a, a I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to say, a kick strike, but <laughs> a foot strike, also known popular, po po whatever, popular, most commonly known as a kick, and then a hot shot there by, Cre by Crerico. <laughs> what is going on? You can tell that it's really late at night. But Jericho now, what in the world is that doing in the ring? Kick to the midsection. I'm talking about the, the steel chair, not Chris Jericho. And Jericho carrying Bobby Fish into the corner. Not quite sure as to why, but... I'm not too sure as to why 2 J. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my god. Punch to the midsection from Bobby Fish. Uh-oh. He went for something, but just got planted back onto that top turnbuckle. By Chris Jericho. Kicking Jericho back. Oh my god. There's a code breaker in the corner. From Chris Jericho. But Adam Cole. Getting back into the face of Jericho. And Bobby Fish with a snap tiger suplex. Referee was in the process of throwing that chair out. Had to throw it down low. So that he could call the pinfall. And there's a cheap shot. A kick to the face. From Jericho. And there's a Judas effect! Taking down Bobby Fish. Pinfall now. And again, Adam Cole. 
Causing a distraction for Chris Jericho. Preventing him from picking up this win. And Jericho's just going ballistic now. Going after the NXT champion. Oh my god. But Adam Cole trying to save him. I don't know who came off better there. Holy shit. And because of that, Chris Jericho wins by DQ. And now for tonight's main event. We've got Sonya Deville. One half of the number one contenders. It was meant to be Mandy Rose fighting here tonight, but I'm not quite sure how she did it, but she persuaded Adam Pacitti to let Deville wrestle instead. So Mandy Rose is going to be going into that match next week fully fresh. And Sonya Deville will be taking on the other, the other side of Boss and Hug. And that other side of Boss and Hug is, of course, the Boss side. Sonya Deville has already defeated... Bailey one on one. And now it's time for Sasha versus Sonya. Here we go. Sasha Banks, Sonya Deville in tonight's main event. Next week, those tag belts will be put on the line. Fire and Desire versus Boss and Hug. <coughs> and a, a sort of test of strength to start things off. And Sasha Banks has taken control of this very, very quickly with some of these working holds. Trying to wear down Sonya Deville. So we know that the women's tag division is expanding with the return slash debut of Team Kick on this previous episode of SmackDown. Sasha Banks with a Lufez press. Hammering away on the face of Sonya Deville. But Mandy Rose, I'm not quite sure what she shouted, but it got Sasha Banks' attention. I've got awful wind at the moment. I apologise. <laughs> oh, God. And Sonya Deville now fully in control after that distraction from Mandy Rose. Sasha really struggling at this stage. Her head being slammed into that mat. Oh my god, and her arm being slammed into the mat. Sonya Deville looking pretty damn proud of herself for that. Again attacking the arm. And now going for the head. A systematic breakdown almost, but Sasha leaping up. Roundhouse kick to Sonya Deville. A boost of adrenaline there. Still quite early in this match. Oh my god, but Sasha Banks is just going off on one. Sonya Deville with the Irish whip into the corner there. Double knee back strike by Sonya. Sasha Banks now setting Sonya Deville up in the tree of woe. And just choking her in that corner with her foot. A heel into the throat. And now, Shining Wizard from Sasha Banks taking out Sonya. Sonya now having to use the ropes to get back to her feet. Quick kick there to the thigh of Sonya Deville. And now, Deville trying to crawl out the ring. But a, a guillotine on the bottom rope by Sasha Banks to Deville. Kick to the midsection. Sasha Banks been incredibly impressive since her return earlier this season. Flipping out of that back suplex attempt. And Sasha Banks now looking to make Sonya Deville bankrupt there. A fantastic move. Oh my god. And another Shining Wizard. Wiping out Deville. Oh my god. And then she attacks the referee. But Mandy Rose grabbing her attention. Sonya Deville looking to pick things up here and pick up Sasha with a gut wrench suplex. Dropping the boss down to the mat. There's a kick to the chin. These two women exchanging kicks. Went for a clothesline but just got a knee to the gut. Sasha Banks now. Oh my god. Receiving an elbow drop to the throat from Sonya Deville. And Sonya's all fired up after the beating she received from, from Sasha. Sasha Banks now taunting. Sonya in the corner. Double knee strike to the chest. Laying out Deville. Sasha Banks now to the top rope. Begging Sonya Deville to get to her feet so that she can deliver this move. Went for a crossbody, but Sonya Deville with a reversal now. There's a body slam. Dropping Banks to the mat. And a triangle. Triangle armbar. 
which I believe is what she made Bailey tap out with. It took a while though, and it looks like it's going to take a while for Sasha. Strikes to the face of Deville. Oh my god, but knee strike, uh, knee strike. Oh, there's the roundhouse kick. I messed up my words. Holy shit, it doesn't even matter. One, two, and Sasha Banks with the kick out there at two. Holy shit, that roundhouse kick came out of nowhere from Sonya Deville. Roll up now, schoolboy roll up from Banks. One, two, and she steals it. Sasha Banks rolling up Sonya Deville. A possible chance victory there from one half of the tag team, uh, women's tag team champions. Sasha Banks pretty damn happy with her win. And I don't blame her. Sonya Deville looking devastated. These teams are now one for one. We'll find out what happens next week.